Bow, man. What's good, YouTube, man? We back at work another one. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Let's, I don't want my man's in there. He, he chilling over there. But we're, we back at work another one, man. It's kind of late. But I thought to get these videos out real quick. Hey, yo, my man's in the background. Don't violate me. Don't do nothing crazy back there. But uh, I've been seeing this a little bit here and there uh, about Balenciaga. We want to see what niggas really got to say. I heard Kim cut ties or some shit like that. But how many celebrities really going to stop checking him? We'll find out, man. Shout out to Playback. Is Balenciaga a part of the dark elite underworld of sex? This is based off the beginning. I'm already knowing where this is going. Yes, they are. Sexual exploitation of children. It's crazy to think that they thought the usual person wouldn't notice this. Balenciaga recently teamed up with child photographer Gabrielle Gallimberti, who's well known for taking pictures of kids surrounded by toys. These That's photos. Wild. Were what toys were those? Who's well known yeah, for Hold on. Of kids Wait for it. By... Boom. No, what wrong. toys are those? Yeah, sir. Yo, if you don't know, media mixed with imagery is very important, bro. Photos with certain images and certain symbols and shit. That shit means something. I learned that in college. Even though a lot of shit, I ain't gonna say a lot of shit. Certain shit in college is bullshit. But like with certain commercials and how they word things and the images they show are very important because. It is literally them trying to express the brand and what they're going for without them. If if you don't pick up on certain shit and you don't pay attention to certain shit, you should. That's why you should question everything and what's the listen more, speak less. Just, just pay. This is a child observant. photographer. Yeah, very that's, that also is just like a very weird thing to be. I'm a child <laughs> yeah. photographer. I didn't low even... key, low key, niggas ain't even trying to put that on you, but like. That's kind of weird. Like, why can't you just be a photographer? Why does it just have to specialize in strictly children? That's already kind of a walkie. You know what I mean? But you no, know, what do I know? Right? That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's a like I I'm, I specialize in taking yeah, pictures. Just, just taking pictures just of children. Kids. If you're well, over four foot, you're done. not in my. Yeah, see, oh no, yeah, really? Yeah, we're down like that. My lens is eight years old. Eight years old. Yeah. I can't. My lens yeah. just can't take flicks. At that point, you, nah, that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, lens can't take pictures past eight is crazy. Now niggas need to put you on one of them lists. You need to start signing in every time you move into a different neighborhood. Some it's shit a like that. Nah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't children. Do children is awesome. That shit is wild. Nigga, that's a crazy, no, that's a crazy arrangement. Crazy. <laughs> that is, bro. It's some violent ass. Yo, you know what's so crazy? That's a, those are not like Power Ranger guns. Those, nah, it's just <laughs> deadly weapons, like, bro. Straight up guns, nigga. These photos were headed on Balenciaga's website of children holding teddy bears in BDSM clothing. There was also That's a bag wild. from their latest collection that That's they did with wild. Adidas. On top of a document referencing either a court case trying to defend child abuse or virtual child porn, it's something to do with It's the funny as hell that he's rocking Balenciaga while making the video. So you see what I'm saying? Imagery. It's grabbing attention. It's the... Mm -hmm. You feel me? To... to... You don't even notice it, like, type shit. And after people have now started to recognize this, Balenciaga have taken down all their Instagram posts. They've removed all the photos with children holding the BDSM beds. And they've like removed that the picture of the bag with the document underneath long, it. Right? Do you think Balenciaga... Because you know what's interesting about this, bro? Yeah, y'all might not buy shit from Balenciaga, but y'all still endorse the other companies that are partnered with them or connected to them. And it's very interesting that nobody else, or I haven't seen, I'm going to say that, I haven't seen a lot of companies or, or a lot of corporations or entities coming out and saying anything about this. But, like, it's, it's, it's so weird, bro. The moral compass is so weird. We hold individuals higher than uh, companies or entities. Like, we, we hold them to individuals as a higher standard. And I think that's because... It's easy to point the finger at somebody physically versus the corporation, but the corporation is run by individuals. So, I'm just saying, man. Should be canceled for this? Or is it just a conspiracy? You know what's so crazy? This is, I know for a fact, people are going to be like, see, Kanye was right. Yeah, it's exactly. Kanye, right, Kanye right, been calling right. them out too. Kanye been saying, Kanye oh, y'all not going to say nothing. Y'all going to sit there and Kanye allow. is like a great anti person. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. For the, for the like, anti establishment person. I know, and I know. That's an mm -hmm. easy thing to get behind because the establishment fucking sucks. It, right? Yes. And so as soon as this happens, they'll be like, yeah. you're trying to like, talk about this, though. Uh -huh. Y'all not talking about this. Yeah, yeah, I haven't really seen too much about this. We talk about integrity. We got morals, dog. We're going to talk about this shit. This is weird. What in the daft punk is going on here? Yeah, this is weird, bro. 
This is a wild fit. What's crazy is, you know what's so crazy? Nah, oh, you saw something with a fit. I'm not going to go back to my house. BBS beers. Mm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I mean, I know that what it is. Be bondage, sugary. dominatrix, BDS. Yeah, sexual. Why do you know that? BDSM. How do you know that? Why do you know that? Oh, the music is crazy. Master. Sexual master. They just put it on the screen, man. Come on, dog. Nah, see, it was just on the screen. I, I, I actually, actually yeah. look, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's usually how a lot of weird sentences start. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The... Yo, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna shout out the album. I ain't gonna commit this. Unless y'all sponsor me. I know how small businesses work mm -hmm. and how things can like sometimes slip and nobody catches it because everyone's doing like 16 different roles, right? Okay. Balenciaga is a corporation. Right you multiple. are lying to yourself if you don't think there's different fucking levels to revisions before any ad goes up. If you think this is a social media Speckle. guy that just shits shit out and there's no supervisor, supervisor, supervisor Crazy that looks shit over, you're fucking fooling yourself. There's a corporate supervisor, there's a local supervisor, there's a supervisor that supervisor. I'm just naming shit, but it's hell of them, bro. Yo, yo, you fuck, you fucking up my shit, bro, gang. See, look, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta bump you out. You lot with you. But word, bro. They know you mean to doing. tell me just there thought, is text and a document in the back where, and nobody... I think a lot of these corporations get getting to the point where they're just trying to push on, bro, see how far they can really take this shit. Because look what's going on, bro. They, they showing y'all a lot of shit, and y'all probably like, yeah, I don't really care about that. So they trying to just see, like... How much do these people really care about certain shit like this? I guarantee you Balenciaga is going to have a spike. Yeah, it's down right now. So, so you wild back there. They're going to have a spike, bro. It's going to go right back to Come on, bro. Yeah. We, was like, hey, we right try back. harder in this house to keep things more low-key, let alone a fucking document like that. It if I even had got word bro. that there was a document like that in this house, first of all, I had some questions on why the fuck. Right. It's, it's even here. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, all right, guys. <laughs> But once you, like, if you decide you want to, like, come on, but that's too bait. I'm not dumb. I'm not also, dumb, bro. Like, I'm even, not dumb. Even in the most, like, optimistic lens I can look at this, like, literally the most optimistic lens. Optimistic. That means that people over Balenciaga are so, like, insensitive or just so passive with children being around things like that, that it doesn't even register to them. And I and I fail to believe that's the yeah, case, but that is the I, most optimistic lens. What the reality is that, or, or, they're so lost that mm. they think that children being around BDS shit Which is crazy. high fashion. They right. think that that's, what is it called? Sleek ends? Uh, uh, what is it called? That shit could be around like innovative. With kids and innovative. Like, yeah. It's progressive, forward mm, thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I don't want nobody thinking that having children sexualized is forward, forward thinking. I'm just sorry, bro. Hey, that's, that's not that's innovation. That's what we're getting to that point. Weird, yeah, that's so. not innovation at all. At all. I see a lot of these high fashion shows, you know, you always see clips of this stuff on Instagram and, and, and like, you know, companies like this, you so. just keep pushing the line to see I'm, what we can get away with. I'm telling y'all. Look, and I clicked on it at the perfect I'm telling y'all, I didn't even know that that was there. They're pushing the line, bro. They're trying to push the boundaries to see exactly how far they can take it, where everybody is progressively. Like, all right, yeah, you know what? They're not there yet. Let's 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 spin the block in a couple of months or a couple of years. Or let's or let's 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 put it let's slip it in there in a different way. Let's keep it a little. I'm telling y'all, bro, a lot of these corporations is with that weird shit. With child trafficking. Yo, no funny shit, I'm not into conspiracies, but old boy that just died, died the billionaire uh, uh, crypto dude, he was tweeting about this shit. Niggas is running the ring, whoop the whoop, and then died mysteriously. On top of the fact, hey, 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 on top of the fact that he is like one of like four or five that have just magically or mysteriously just been passing away, like dying, helicopter crash, drownings, uh, just just a lot of crazy shit. So I'm just saying, bro. But the, the problem is, is that it's it's just a lot though. But let's let's just search up. It's a lot. It's a lot. fashion show. What is this? Yeah, like these are things that nobody would really wear, company, and that's a valuable asset. I get it. Mm -hmm. This is just weird though. This is this has nothing to do but with what innovation. Do you, but what are you? But what are you gonna? Are you gonna disperse across the country with sexualizing children? Though? I think it's just like <laughs> probably like some perverted people in a position of control. Yo, that get you, you know, know as soon as he said perverted, what rang in my mind was back when I Carly was going around and he was doing that foot shit. And I think the dude, they accused the dude of doing a lot of weird shit with feet and just perv like a perverted mind of jerking out. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, bro, that shit happens, bro. I, I I have a feeling that a lot of these people that are executives and CEOs and all this shit that are in high positions, especially with fashion and other shits that connect that are connected, bro. They probably they get away with a lot of shit, bro. Celebrities get away with a lot of shit. So I assume if you got a lot of money. You get in those rooms, bro. You could get a lot of shit done, bro. A lot of your sick, twisted fantasies. We're not we're not shaming or nothing like that. But when it comes to you, 
doing something with the kids, my nigga, niggas not jacking that. I ain't gonna lie, that's mad weird. King shame, that's what I'm gonna say, but this with kids, my nigga, like, separate that. Like, we want some weird shit. We're like, damn, since we since we get away with so much, and I'm since we out. set the trends so you think on that's what's what popular. Wait, you, so you think that they actually did it purposely? I think, they think I, they uh, like, let's what? see how much we can say to get away with. Bro, it for has to be, because I just don't believe with the amount of for approvals fact, required for any sort of campaign to go live yes. with companies like this, exactly. that exactly. many people didn't know about it. Maybe not the whole company knew, but many high-level people had to exactly. know about it. Again, it's an assumption, it but, but even so even if even if they didn't, it's kind of weird that nobody said no. Nobody called it. Nobody in the company quiet bro even when it aired nobody was looking in the pain like bro it's literally people to analyze and literally watch uh all of the things that are being uploaded are being said on the platform they literally have code of con come on bro you tell me i don't got i don't you don't, you don't have enough money to monitor that kind of stuff bro cap they stop the cap man. we are part about it did they apologize oh so then yeah. um they just took it down oh, I'm making a video right that's now. all he did so they the previous campaign shot a picture of a bag right, on top right, right. of a document referring to virtual child porn. The document also referenced court case yeah, right, Ashcroft right. versus Free Speech, which finds the Child Pornography Prevention Act as a violation of free speech. One parent of the kids that was on the campaign mm -hmm. said their child had a great time on the Balenciaga set. Kim Kardashian kind of apologised, but never really apologised. Balenciaga yeah, released did, an yeah. apology last night, stating that they are suing the third party agency what? in charge of the photo shoot. See, Is this all a reach? Like or are the elite is... finally getting exposed? What do you think is going to happen next? I hate when corporations blame third party because sometimes it's true yeah, that they but, come. Bro, you literally partnered with the third party, bro. So you should have been aware. As, you should have did all of the research, due diligence, and and common like, like, come on, bro. Like, like blaming them is is just your like scapegoat type shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. Contract with third party their organization. Company, it's their company yeah, and they exactly, have every bro. they supposed to have insight over everything exactly, they're doing. Bro. It's on, it, bro. if you said sorry, also we're taking their ass to court, I'd be like, okay. Don't even tell me that you're taking exactly. the court. Say sorry. Facts. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear just, I'd rather the bullshit sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we're we're sorry. But we're also we're gonna take them to court about like, bro, the court situation is like it I don't know, I don't really be jacking that. Like I understand this business you want, you gotta sue them, but like it's Expressing that to the public, I feel like it's kind of disingenuous. Just do that. Yeah, you, you can. That, yeah. Like, there's no need for you to tell. That's us just that. blame shifting. Yeah, it's that's all blame it is. Shifting. I just, bro, it's you. Oh, yeah. It's your it's company. Fault. You were the, the problem for, for it. and it's crazy that for whatever reason, again, we are holding like I individuals higher, the higher standard we're holding company. I feel like you know I'm in the pursuit of happiness, and Will Smith and shit. He finally got the job because dead ass, bro. You 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 literally blame shifting. And at the, at the same time, you're holding a fucking corporation less than you're holding an individual. You're holding and Kyrie and all these other people and Kanye. Okay, well, niggas may have said something crazy. Niggas may have said shit that people don't agree with, which is fine. You know, everybody is it has their own opinion. That's cool. But at the same time, bro, y'all holding them to this high ass and y'all bash and are putting them through the mud and lo they're losing deals and all this and all of that. But a corporation like Balenciaga, who's a multi damn near billion dollar company and in work and is worldwide is is being held to a standard under them i don't get it they're literally a, i feel like they're a bigger entity but for some reason you kind of got give them like the benefit of the doubt like nah like maybe that's crazy to me that had that makes me look at y'all a little funny out there yo because I, I definitely don't hear a bunch of IG models nope. and all these other people who, who nope. buy into Balenciaga. I don't hear, I don't hear the sports dudes bringing it up, but how do you feel about what? We're none of that. Def definitely not canceling They're not and canceling them, especially because like, the whole Kyrie Irving situation, and, situation that happened, mm -hmm. but then Jeff Bezos just came out and said, yeah, Amazon not taking that. Which is a good, yo, right now. And, and whether, whether we agree or disagree with that, this is good. That's good that he didn't do that for the simple fact that people need to be able to express their opinion, right? Whether they be right or wrong, and and literally, there needs to be a point where people are just like, okay, whether I agree with them or disagree with them, the fact that we have this information here, because I did not watch this, so I don't know what kind of information was on there, but I think I heard it's hateful. That I heard mis mixed emotions, actually. I'm not even going to say that. Like, it's a part of history, bro. Like, we should have this shit out there so niggas don't repeat the same bullshit, because that's apparently what's going on. History repeats itself. That's what I'm, like, you know what I'm saying? So... That that I our documentary we'll talking about the shit. Jeff said that. Uh, 
I did not know Jeff said that. Was, well, let me. Man. Jeff or Amazon? Amazon. Amazon. Mm. Amazon said that. Yeah. Okay. But no, for, for fact, yeah, they're not taking it down. They're like, no, we're not taking it down. So like, it's so weird to me that they're like these things are occurring. And that's a good takeaway. I've been on that shit for like the last few months. That's crazy. It's fascinating how the public holds individuals to a higher standard than corporations. It's crazy. A corporation is made up of many individuals. Many. many. But for some reason, when you see something like a Balenciaga corporation, human face, individual, you feel less inclined to point a finger at them because exactly. it just kind of feels like an entity exactly. not a person that you can point blame at but and that's just what a lot of people want to do they just want to point blame they want to be able to physically attach blame to somebody's like otherwise a balenciaga is like you say something and like it dissolves like oh yeah we hate balenciaga or balenciaga did this there's nobody there's no face to balenciaga so the the, the the shit shifts as you see they're blaming the third party you see what i'm saying you have nobody behind the company well, maybe you might have the CEO, but like, for example, Jeff Bezos and Amazon, you you would you would hold Jeff Bezos accountable over Amazon because he has a face to Amazon, even though he, I'm pretty sure he made he separated, but still, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's so weird because an individual is a brand, but a corporation is 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 untangible somehow. Like, it's I don't get it, bro. I just I, I don't get it. Second, imagine a human being did what they did. They'd it would be done. It. It, it would be done for it. It. And, and without any it's hesitation. Weird, the mainstream this, media that. wouldn't hesitate to shine a light on it. Y'all wouldn't mm -hmm. hesitate to just dissociate from and just like, what the Fast. fuck? Just demand yeah. answers. But at least they could do is explain why the fuck they had text from a court case surrounding child pro. Which is, the fuck they can't do that? We should get to the point women. where- Why do you have it, that? We get to, to put a point to the point where it's so many things where it just can't be coincidence. It's not. Like, like that it's not, happens I'm telling y'all, in media, everything matters, bro. The imagery and certain shit. Like, like he said, at the they literally have to go through a process to where they break down every single thing they're gonna do before they do it. It has to go through this guy, that guy, this guy, that guy. Before it even touches the head guy, Unless the head guy gives the order to pat, like, come on, bro. There's so many levels to this shit. Like, so fuck out of here. somewhere? Like, how does that happen? And it's in the, and it's, it's clearly in the background of a flick. It's not even like in a distance, exactly. like those books. Before any campaign goes live, they, they talk to legal. Ashcroft versus the Free Speech Coalition and the United States versus Williamson 2008. And this is significant because these court orders are directly relating to the opposition of laws that were serving to prevent the propagation of child abuse images. You see, in 1976, the federal law banned the production, the distribution and possession of child abuse images, including images of adults that were made to look like children. Given the advancements in digital media and graphics, in 1996, the CPPA, the Child Pornography Prevention Act, extended this to include digital media graphics that were depicting children. Now the Free Speech Coalition is a this name is given to an adult entertainment trade association and they filed an action against the Attorney General Ashcroft and the United States to challenge this expanded definition. So I'm supposed to just believe that that was just coin. It's not bro. It's not bro. It's not. I'm telling you. I think they wanted to see how far they could push the envelope and see if, if people cared about certain things, bro. That's what I feel like. But I could be wrong, right? I could dead be fucking wrong. Who who knows? Who fucking knows? It's just too many things that are occurring right now for me to just believe that it's done on accident. Like, and all these, like, corporate industry shoots, they take long as fuck. They have people there for everything. They have, like, six audio guys there. In fact, they have two people there for something called consistency error. So, like, if my hair changed from a different, like, a different, uh, what they Angle? call them, scene? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, let me just adjust your hair. Let me address the necklace. Let me adjust this. Let me adjust your bow tie. So, they have, like, so many people there so that there is no this chance is. for error. Because mm -hmm. when, when this much is on the line, when it's billions of dollars or mm -hmm. hundreds of millions of dollars Literally where you stop, can't afford baby. errors on, where you have to think dog this shit this doesn't happen in corporations well, I'm telling you, man, anyone who works for like a marketing company if you work for one of these big corporations here, and you do anything in marketing I, yo they, they know they what i'm talking about yeah, it's, of yes, course it, errors happen in yes, time but not this obvious no. the ceo of balenciaga's parent company i don't curing or i don't know what it's called sell sickening companies um sex mannequins child sex mannequins this is just one of the examples and it goes with Dog, I don't know if I can watch this shit anymore because this is already getting, this shit is weird, bro. I'm going to just skip to the end because I don't really got nothing else to say, bro. It's not, a, I don't think it's coincidence, bro. Nigga, I don't, I'm not even, I'm saying I believe in no conspiracy theory, but 
maybe once or twice, like, ah, uh, three times, this shit is not a coincidence after that, my nigga. That is, that is habit now. This is higher standard <laughs> than an actual billion dollar company, <laughs> bro. Crazy, now that's bro. crazy. And then you all will continue to purchase their things I just because of the name behind I'm it. You, you willing are. and able and ready and to cancel the individual. Y'all gonna support the, the y'all gonna, gonna literally support the people that are supporting them as well. So whatever businesses are, that are still attached to the Balenciaga, which is, I have not seen anybody else Cut ties, but let it be Kyrie. I'm saying, bro. Well, for things that they're crazy. saying. I get it. Thanksgiving was happening and all that. But they tried to hide behind that, right? Maybe this will make it through the news cycle. No, it's not, okay? Adidas didn't cut ties. 48 hours after Kanye did his whole thing, right? And they got lambasted for not speaking out against uh, anti Semitism. This is a week and a half, and nobody seems to care. That there's little kids involved in this. I can't speak what it's like to be a black man, right? I can't speak what it's like to be a Jewish woman, but I can speak what it's like to be a father of two young boys. Yeah. And that this type of behavior, it's when weird. I worked at CBS.com out of a little closet my first show, I was like, I'm gonna say this and wear a blue shirt. I got 49 emails saying, maybe wear a purple shirt and maybe don't say this here. Don't tell me this slipped through the cracks. Right. Hit it, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna keep saying it, but I'm about to get off this. I ain't You're getting a court it. case that features child pornography. <laughs> on, it's bro. disgusting, it's disturbing. Jeopardy's gotta flip their whole production because of w one person said something, but they wanted to be woke and do all that. How many other examples are there? 10, 20, 30, 40 years we're going back to cancel people? But this slips through the cracks. It's outrageous, and that people aren't. It is. He's right, and yeah. I'm glad he's just passionate about it. Yeah, he's we got two fucking kids, for a fact. Like I said, bro, I, I'm an interviewer right here. We work. We, we, we going into 20 minutes, but I feel like this video is very important because, bro, this is some weird shit going on. It's been going on, and I've been hearing shit about like shit like this for mad long. And I, used, you know, you, you hear some shit like, oh, you going crazy, but niggas ain't doing that. Niggas ain't. Sexualizing kids, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But shit happens. This shit happens though, bro. And now it's happening in mainstream media because in that underworld, that shit is fine. It's perfectly fine. It's probably it's been going on. It's going to continue going on because that's the, the, the people that are in charge and the people that sh most people are funding with these these big corporations like Balenciaga and etc. Allegedly, they. This what they this is what they into, bro, and it's, they gonna keep put they gonna keep pushing the envelope to see exactly how far they gonna go, and whether or not people cancel them or pay attention, it's all up to y'all, bro. But I don't jack that. That shit is weird. Niggas got family, little cousins and shit like that, little siblings. Niggas is not jacking them. So all you celebrities, cut your ties. You feel me? I ain't gonna tell y'all what to do, but if y'all jacking them, y'all some weirdos. Y'all cut off Kyrie and all these other people. Cool, but y'all won't say nothing to these big corporations that are. That are sending y'all stuff for free to promote to people that are broken y'all so that they can pay for it out of pocket versus you who are getting it for free. But you won't tell them that. Hey, listen, man. I ain't, ain't got to say too much, man. I'm going to let y'all go, man. <laughs> Shit crazy. Shit is crazy, bro. Podcast, man. I might have to do a podcast. All right, cool. That's one.